Hello. Oh, see? Let's go to my niece. Yeah, come on. Don't mind me if I just park park my horse over here. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Yeah, I never really know if I should be like talking during cutscenes right, stuff like that. Many let's plays that I've done, I've just always been wondering like, should I talk? Should I just shut up and let people listen to uh, what Come they're on, saying? Boy. Don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess we can go race Bonnie, and I, if I remember correctly, the war horse is like pretty fast, three, so I should be two, able to easy. One, go. Me. Hell no. Gotta watch my stamina as well. Come on. Are you saving the best for last? Whoa, whoa. Did I wait for you to catch up? I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss McFarland. How you doing back there? Would you like me to slow down? Steering these horses are so difficult. I mean, it's not like it's a car or anything. They have they have brains too. Can't completely control them. Let's go. Oh no, she's catching up. No, 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 no. Go. 
gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Easy now. Hello, little chicken. Hello. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right. Let's just go ahead and uh, do things for Bonnie. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies, and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> I don't know if the cup is actually transparent, but it's a different shade of green. Sure, I'll get on the wagon. If you don't mind, I'd really like to get moving. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Oh gosh, she just ran into my wagon, dude. She horse okay. Just like banged his face right on the wheel. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right. The doc. Man, I don't remember him. Enjoy the view for once, and a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. 
Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. What about my horse? <laughs> We need to take that raggedy ass, ugly stagecoach. I think I have the money for that. How much money do I even have? Can I even see? I got, I got zero dollars. I'm broke, man. Can I? Uh... Yes, I can. Here he comes. Hello. I'm gonna park it right here. 